What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching the Car Inside. It's a new week here on iRacing, and that means it is time for another qualifying breakdown. Please excuse my voice. We uh, are under the weather again. We have strep throat and a few other little things going on here. Because we got uh, got a kid in pre-K, and he just brings something home every other week. So we're constantly, constantly dealing with something. So we're gonna try to get through this thing as uh, audible as I can. Hopefully, you guys can understand me as I try to talk through this but uh we're feeling great just sound awful but uh i decided to do b fix this week at atlanta i took a poll later or earlier today and um it was pretty unanimous 70 percent of you guys said you'd rather see b fixed than you would c fixed and the number of votes that i got it's usually around the same number of likes i get on each video for the qualifying breakdown so i took that as a sign and really appreciate all the uh, feedback that you guys continue to give here on Car Inside. The reason I keep doing all this stuff. So we're kind of staying away from LA Coliseum this week. I do own the track. I may run a race this week. And if I do, then I may upload how I qualified and everything. But no promises. I can't guarantee that I'll do that. But if you're somebody that's just starting out on iRacing and you're looking to build your license up and you care about that safety rating, then that's a place, honestly, my personal opinion, stay away from. It, if, if you uh, participate in any bit in Hickory, uh, it, imagine that, but it's probably going to be a little worse. Um, really good group of guys that I know ran our all-star race in a league there at LA Coliseum, and this group of guys can really navigate short tracks very well. Very respectable group of guys and always run really good, and they struggled to get around that joint without running over top of each other. So I took that as a sign that maybe for officials, knowing how bad they normally are, may want to stay away from it. So nonetheless, we are obeying what you guys say, doing the poll, and we're going to be doing B fix this week at one of our favorite tracks, Atlanta Motor Speedway. Qualifying lap is going to be, uh, the hot lap is going to be on lap number two. It's going to be a 16 to 1 steering ratio, uh, plus six offset, which is actually what iRacing had in there as generic. Just so happens that we swap brought our wheel to center. 62% brake bias does not matter. That's just my generic go-to for these uh, speedways. Sometimes we turn it down. I'll probably run around 57, 58 for the race. But this is our hot lap in real time. Then we'll go back and we'll break it down and show you guys what we're doing. But throttle is going to help the car turn this week. You're going to lift off the throttle just enough to kind of get the nose planted. Then you're going to be back in it and help the car rotate. Then you want to start high and enter in. Your line is going to be really critical. This is going to be one of those tracks where you're you don't want to get down in the banking too quick or the back end might step around. You kind of want to apex a little later over in turn number one. And that's a 31.567. So what we're going to do here, we're going to back this thing up three and four. We're setting up our, uh, we're setting up our uh, hot lap. I actually ran the top through one and two. Just kind of lifted, take, took it easy in turn one. Going into turn three, lift around the black box. Gradually got back on the throttle. Never got above this top seam up here. Don't want to get up in the marbles. Just kind of stay middle of the track. Drive off as straight as you can, as fast as you can, down to the bottom. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to be crossing straight over this. It doesn't have to be exact. Cross over there, aim for the white line, aim for the black box. Same line you run in C fixed here just a couple of weeks ago, if you guys can remember. You're going to actually start turning in before you lift off the throttle. You're going to turn in a crossover, maybe half a seam for a full seam here to your middle. About a half a seam completely lift off the throttle and by the time you approach the next scene watch watch here it's kind of hard to see but you can feel it you see this you guys can kind of see this hump here whenever the car plants and rolls over this hump here you start picking back up on the throttle don't let the car just don't let it completely settle pick back up on the throttle just the slightest bit start turning down and you're going to apex there so when we're apexing our line here <clears throat> we're actually about a half a lane off the bottom now you probably could get down to the bottom i didn't it felt like i disrupted the car too much when i would try to do that and so i just stayed up there and was able to carry a whole lot of momentum but you're picking up the throttle full throttle around the atlanta turn two sign there right, right at your apex and you're going to be back in it driving up off toward the wall, stay about a half a lane off the wall. That's just a habit I have to kind of keep air off the windshield of these cars. Um, something I heard and something I've just gotten a habit of doing and always have done. 
turn up toward the wall just a little here. When you get to the safer barrier, you're going to start turning in. As you turn in, look for this black box. That's going to be your lift point. And when you lift, just like turn one, you're going to be middle of those two seams. And just like over in turn number one, when you cross over this seam here. Now, you're not going to have that hump that's as big as turn number one had. It's going to be a little less, a uh, little more gradual uh, so you're not going to notice it as much but it's going to be around this Atlanta turn three sign and I point these things out but it's kind of hard to really pay attention it's all about feel it's it's hard to look at the wall and uh, look for your reference points and try to pick up the throttle and drive a certain way it's just all about the feel and navigating and, and knowing what the car's doing in order to be able to get back on the throttle fully but you're going to just start dragging the throttle here working your way down to the bottom and as you approach the bottom you can get back in the throttle up off the corner Almost out to the wall. You can see we were kind of fighting the wheel here. The car was really wanting to step out. The back end was coming around. We were about a lane off the wall. Back down to the bottom end of the line. 31.567. So hopefully you guys found this uh, qualifying breakdown helpful. I'm not the most familiar with these Xfinity cars. So they are, I wouldn't say they're new to me, but they're a little different. Uh, a little more uncharted territory as the uh, as the C-Fix, the trucks are. So I'm a little skeptical every time I put one of these videos out. But, you know, I, my little slogan here is uh, it may not be the fastest lap you see, but hopefully it's the most helpful and the most relatable. So I appreciate you guys giving feedback earlier on the poll. And as you guys wished, as the majority wished, we'd done be fixed here. So hopefully this, guys, this video can help you guys throughout the remainder of the week. And I appreciate all the continued support here on Car Inside. But whenever you get ready to run that race, 16 to 1 ratio, probably keep the steering ratio the same, or offset the same. I'll probably probably run around 50, 57%, maybe able to float around between uh, 54 and 60. It's not really going to matter. I don't know how much brake we'll be using. Um, may be dragging just the slightest bit to kind of help the car get slowed up if you're driving it deeper off into the corners. But I would advise probably lifting early and seeing how that goes first before you start using the brake and getting into that. So, anyways, as we were saying, thanks for all the support here on Car Inside. Appreciate you guys watching. Keep pounding that like button. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We are closing in on 1,000. We're about 50 or 60 subs away from 1,000. So, appreciate you guys. Thanks for all you do. Just keep spreading the. Uh, Spreading the name around, tell somebody about me if they haven't heard about me. I greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you guys next time.